okay, put yourself in this position. Your friend is talking to you over Skype or over Twitter. Need your help on a computer problem because you are the computer expert of your group there and something's happened to his computer. He needs your help over screencast so he can see what exactly to do. You do not have a screen recorder and you cannot record your screen to send him screen recording. So, what are you going to do? Well, I have found two sites that you will find very useful in this situation. First one is called screener.com. What this does is it records your screen and uploads straight to screener.com for instant screens screen view. Instant screencasts for Twitter. Now you can create screencasts for your followers as easily as you tweet. Just click the record button and you have your ready to tweet screencast in seconds. Web based recorder, nothing to download. Record on your Mac or PC, that's a big bonus. This is flash based and it just records everything over any system. Uh, plays everywhere on the web, even iPhones, that's a bonus. And start now, it's completely free. You can sign in through Twitter, no extra account needed. Next one is ScreenJelly.com. This is similar, not as many features though. What is Screen Jelly? Screen Jelly calls your screen activity with, no vo with your voice, so you can spread it via Twitter or email. Use it quickly, share call apps, software, blah blah blah, start recording, blah 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 blah. Sign up here though. You have Twitter or Facebook options, or you can even create your own account without integrating with Twitter. Now I do prefer Screener. It's it offers a bit more, a few more features, and I like its recorder and buffers slightly quicker. Well, for me at least. Screen Jelly offers a slightly more private approach. Now I'm going to show you how exactly they work. So sign in with Twitter. Allow this. And it has just been authorized. So we see welcome Alpha Computing. I'm now signed in. And I can record the screencast. For it all to load here, important to keep this page open while recording and come back when you're done. That's a good tip. When done, click done button or Alt D. That's a cool keyboard shortcut. And here we go. He uses Sun Java, not JavaScript. This is a full Java program. And here we go. You can catch and move and resize this frame. Here we go, I can resize here. As you see the audio is working here, I can select a different audio source and a different capture size. And when I hit record, we see it starts a countdown. And I'm now recording my screen. I can move it around. And now I can begin telling, giving people my instructions. And once I'm done, I have a five minute limit, which is plenty of time. When I'm done, I can click done or, as it said before, Alt D. Paused. Now it asks me to click done. Here we go. Instant. Here's a preview of your screencast. Installed locally, so don't disconnect. You can ask it not to tweet and a description. This is a screener test for a YouTube video. Spell out video. Here we go. And tweet it or delete it. Tweet publishing. Typical publish time. Making web version. And then it should upload and then it should render in iPhone. And then upload the iPhone version. So this is all done locally, I think. And while that does, as you see, run pretty quickly. Jump over to screener. What's on your screen? It asks. Let's have a look. The record button. And you see we can mark this as private, which is a bonus for Screen Jelly. Because if your friend is asking you for that uh, for that question or that support he needs, you can easily send him a private video and your five million thousand bajillion followers don't have to all know about it. 
Here we go. Full screen recording starts in now. This is full screen. You can't actually move this around. Recording. I have three minutes with screen jelly. And I can stop at any time. Get this out of the way. Move things around. Test the frame rate. And then I can stop. Now I have recorded this without any sign up. As you see, I have not signed up for Screen Jelly. And that was pretty quick. And I think it is now published. If it was that quick, I have to say Screen Jelly beats out Screener. Description Test Video. Ah, okay. Now I must sign in and upload. Signing using Twitter or Facebook Connect or even make my own account. And now this is now uploading the iPhone version, all pretty quick. Just a bit more and I shall show you the player. And it's loaded me up on my own screener.com short URL, screener.com slash x8m and play. It's pretty fast as you see here, buffered up pretty quickly and now that I have recorded it I can publish it to YouTube or even download the .mp4 file which is a great bonus in my mind and I can even publish straight to my website with an embed. Then down here people can re retweet and reply to me and if I go to my Twitter page which is twitter.com slash alphacomputing if it allows me to I should see a new tweet. This is a screen I'll test for YouTube video. There's the link, and it brings me to here. Then, by clicking on this image, I get my public user profile with all my videos, my website, my Twitter bio, and whatever. And Screen Jelly basically does the same thing. Here we go, we can click on someone's video. Yes, leave this page. There's no description for this, and here's a video. Linda MacDonald, we can click on her public profile and these are all her videos and what she's actually watched. So that is how to support your friend in need and this has been the video by alphacomputing.net and things are falling around me. You can check out my YouTube page youtube.com slash alphacomputing Right, just race now. Twitter.com slash alphacomputing is my Twitter profile. MySpace.com slash alphacomputing is my MySpace profile. Alphacomputing.net slash Facebook is my Facebook profile. And friendfeed.com slash alphacomputing is my friendfeed profile. And friendfeed.com slash profile slash alphacomputing.net is my Google Buzz page. Is that quick enough? No. Try next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, check out all those pages if you do catch on those pages. The links are below or to the right if you're still on the old YouTube. Alpha,